What is up, YouTube? It is Doc here, Doc Style Gaming, and I am here with a Risk of Rain video for you all today. Because why has nobody told me about Risk of Rain? Risk of Rain is literally one of those games that I wish somebody would have told me about sooner. Like, don't get me wrong. I remember seeing all of the tens out of tens and nines out of tens for all their trailers and whatnot. But man, I just assumed it was like, ah, it's a good game. But no, it's definitely more than just a good game. It's insanely fun and chaotic as hell, but in all the best ways. It's literally a screen full of effects and literally just one of the best games I've played in a while for just hours of like nonstop mayhem. It's crazy. And best of all, it's a co-op game at that too. Now, technically, it's a third-person roguelike shooter that you can play by yourself or up to four players. And with the multiple players, that's when it gets the most hectic, but is also fun as hell nonetheless. And all while the craziness is happening on screen, your goal is to fight through enemies while fighting against time while farming loot that actually stacks onto your character or your survivor and looks pretty dope while also farming cash, then to fight your final boss before you even head to your next mission, all while trying to manage your time and make it to the moon for the final boss fight. Like, the gameplay itself isn't just hectic, the mechanics behind everything is too. It's one of the most fast-paced and unique roguelike games I've played in a very long time. And when I mention fight against the time itself, the longer you play and stay in a world, the harder the difficulty gets and it carries over to each new stage. So though you may want to farm all the loot you can on each stage, sometimes it's actually not worth it to farm for the loot you want if the difficulty is going to get harder for you while you search and going forward. Now, on top of all of that, what makes these playthroughs even more unique is that there are multiple characters or survivors for you to play as, all with their own weapon types, abilities, specials, and even more for you to unlock while playing through the game. You have humanoid characters, robot characters, characters with tracking arrows, to shotties, to rapid fire pistols. Each character feels unique and has its own playstyle. So one of them is bound to fit yours. And of course, with a game like this with this many characters, there's also unlockable cosmetics and multiple characters to be added. And even with all that I just mentioned, there's still multiple game modes as well, along with a lot of different multiplayer lobbies to get into, but that's probably another video for another day. And the best part about this game, in my opinion, is that it's actually out on every platform. So if you're playing on Switch, PlayStation, Xbox, or PC, you can pick up this game, and it's not even full price, it's like 25 bucks, but if I recall, I think it's like $6 right now on PlayStation. I don't know how much it is on other platforms, but I saw it's like six bucks right now, which is crazy because it's about to have its next update come out literally at the beginning of March. That's gonna add even more characters, new loot, new stages, new bosses. And again, that's probably a whole other video on its own. But honestly, this was just one of those games I had to drop a video on. Now I have been streaming it actually on Twitch and I know some people have actually helped guide me through the game as I started playing because I was lost for a while. So much appreciated to y'all, but this is definitely one of those games that I just love because one, it's right up my alley with everything that I like to do, but also it's one of those games that I can stream and squad up with viewers and subs to play with. But uh, that's all I really got for this video. Like I said, I just really wanted to talk about this game because I had been having a lot of fun with this game. I literally checked, I want to say a couple weeks ago, the like 2021 wrap up for PlayStation and I had only played 15 games in 2021. And I'm just like, that's ridiculous. So this year I have been playing so many games that one I've been missing out on, but also brand and new games that have been coming out as well that I typically don't even cover on the channel. So this one might be a new mainstay on the channel for sure. So let me know if you're down to see more of it on the channel and let me know if you've played Risk of Rain. Like I said, this will definitely be one of the games that I start streaming more of. And again, I always like games like this that I can stream with all of y'all. Games with addictive gameplay and co-op play are always right up my alley. So again, let me know in the comment section below. Other than that, that's all I got for this video. So thank you all for watching. Like always, be sure to leave a like if you liked the video. If you didn't, still leave a like because nobody's gonna see that dislike. Other than that, be sure to join the Discord if you haven't. Links to that is in the video description along with the link to the Twitch channel as well. With that though, I am out of here guys. So thanks for the love. Thanks for the subs. Peace.